Ghana has a problem with plastic pollution. Mounds of it spill over the sewers. But Nelson Boateng is on a path to reducing the waste by turning plastic into pavers for the roads. Ghana generates 22,000 22, tonnes of plastics annually, and only 2% is recycled. The rest are on the landfills, costing the government huge sums of money to clear all these plastic waste. So with this technology, we are going to use all kinds of plastics, except PVC pipes, in the manufacturing of pavement blocks that are proven to be stronger than the normal concrete blocks that we have. Nelson says his blocks will last 500 years before starting to decompose. They sell for a dollar each, 50 cents less than concrete ones. We buy all kinds of plastics from those that pick it from the surroundings. We crush them and wash them, then mixed with sand at a proportion depending on where we want to lay it. But his company can only produce a limited amount with the equipment they have. We don't have the decent, the machinery to produce at a large scale in a day. So for now, you're able to produce uh, 200 blocks in a day with a 2,000 kilos uh, material that we mix. The government recently bought Nelplast cobblestones to pave a small area in the capital. But the company needs more investment for the project to take off. Right now, we are we, we used for testing, for everybody to see. We want the government to come support us to improve, to, to bring more people to come support. It won't solve Ghana's plastic problem on its own, but the pavers are a step in the right direction. Liz Maddock, TRT World.